The Ahmadnagar Sultanate was a late medieval Indian kingdom, located in the northwestern Deccan, between the Sultanates of Gujarat and Bijapur. Malik Ahmad, the Bahmani governor of Janur after defeating the Bahmani army led by General Jahangir Khan on 28 May 1490 declared independence and established the Nizam Shahi dynasty rule over the Sultanate of Ahmadnagar. Initially his capital was in the town of Janur with its fort, later renamed Shivneri. In 1494, the foundation was laid for the new capital Ahmadnagar. In 1636 Aurangzeb, then Mughal viceroy of Deccan finally annexed the Sultanate to the Mughal Empire. History Malik Ahmad was the son of Nizam ul Mulk Malik Hassan Bari, originally a Hindu Brahmin from Bijanagar or Bijanagar originally named Timapa. After the death of his father, he assumed the appellation of his father and from this the dynasty found by him is known as the Nizam Shahi dynasty. He founded the new capital Ahmadnagar on the bank of the river Sina. After several attempts, he secured the great fortress of Dalatabad in 1499. After the death of Malik Ahmad in 1510, his son Burhan, a boy of seven was, installed in his place. In the initial days of his reign, the control of the kingdom was in the hands of Mukamal Khan, an Ahmadnagar official and his son. Burhan Shah I died in Ahmadnagar in 1553. He left six sons, of whom Hussein succeeded him. After the death of Hussein Shah I in 1565, his minor son Mortaza ascended the throne. During his minority, his mother Kanzata Humayun Sultana better known in history as Chand Sultana or Chand Bibi ruled as a regent for several years. Mortaza Shah annexed Barar in 1572. On his death in 1588, his son Miran Hussain ascended the throne. But his reign could last only a little more than ten months as he was poisoned to death. Ismail, a cousin of Miran Hussain was raised to the throne, but the actual power was in the hands of Jamal Khan, the leader of the Dakani – Habshi group in the court. Jamal Khan was killed in the Battle of Roankht in 1591 and soon Ismail Shah was also captured and confined by his father Burhan, who ascended the throne as Burhan Shah. But Chand Bibi fought him. Winning the kingdom, Chand Bibi ascended the throne. After the death of Chand Bibi in July, 1600 Ahmadnagar was conquered by the Mughals and Bahadur Shah was imprisoned. Although, Ahmadnagar city and its adjoining areas were occupied by the Mughals, an extensive part of the kingdom still remained in possession of the influential officials of the Nizam Shahi dynasty. Malik Ambar and other Ahmadnagar officials defied the Mughals and declared Mortaza Shah II as Sultan in 1600 at a new capital Paranda. Malik Ambar became Prime Minister and Vakil as Sultanate of Ahmadnagar. Later, the capital was shifted first to Janur and then to a new city Kadki later Aurangabad. Malik Amber died in 1626. In the meantime, Jahan Khan, the wazir of Nizam killed Nizam on the reasoning that the Nizam was an incapable and unwise ruler, who couldn't take appropriate decisions and was easily deceived by some people. Jahan Khan greeted Shahaji with open hands and asked Shahaji to join him. Shahaji started leading Nizam's forces. However, at that time, the Mughal forces on the order of Shah Jahan had slain all the men in relation to Nizam and also killed two pregnant women. This was done to finish off the Nizam Shahi, as there wouldn't be any male heir to the throne of the Nizam. However, Shahaji, in order to establish Swaraji he decided to crown a child named Murtaza, who was in relation with Nizam as the next Nizam. Shahaji assured Murtaza's mother that he would not be harmed and vouched for his safety. Shahaji crowned Murtaza on Shahagad Pemgiri Fort at Pemgiri Sangamner in Ahmednagar district. Soon, Shah Jahan ordered the Subhadar of Deccan, Mahabat Khan, to finish off the Nizam Shahi when the commander in chief, Shahaji Bosail, was away. Mahabat Khan and Sardar Ranoji Wabal attacked Ahmadnagar and quickly killed Fateh Khan along with the boy prince Hussein Nizamshah III, his relatives as well as two pregnant women so that there would not be any male heir to the throne. But soon, Shahaji with the assistance of Bijapur, placed an infant scion of the Nizam Shahi dynasty, Mortaza on the throne and he became the regent. The scion Nizam and Shahaji's family was stationed in the Mahuli fort. Shah Jahan quickly made an alliance with Muhammad Adil Shah of Bijapur and the respective Mughal and Adil Shahi generals, Khan Zaman son of Mahabat Khan and Ranadullah Khan father of Rustam -e -Zaman besieged Mahuli. 
Shah Jahan dispatched a force of 48,000 to reduce Shahaji, Nizam and his ally Adilsha. Under such mounting attack Adilsha sued for peace. With the withdrawal of Adilsha's support, Shahaji could not hold much against the Mughals. His possessions were reduced quickly. Portuguese did not offer any help from naval side to Shah Jaji due to fear of the Mughals. In this war, Shahaji fought till the last. But, unfortunately Mortaza, the infant Nizam, was kidnapped by Mughals and for the purpose of saving the life of Nizam, it became necessary for Shahaji to make compromise. This compromise finished Nizam Shahi. Shahaji, on the condition of protecting the life of little Mortaza Nizam at any condition, handed him over to Shahajahan. Nizam was taken away by Sardar Ranoji Wabal regional Sardar of Shah Jahan to Delhi. He was inducted into Adil Shahi. As a precaution Shah Jahan, ensured that Shahaji was posted in Deep South so as not to pose any challenge to Mughals. He finally became one of the top generals in the Adilsha's army, accepting a jagger in his court, being based in Bengaluru present-day Bangalore in Karnataka. Shahaji tried to break the siege externally several times, but failed. So Jijabai along with young Shivaji successfully escaped from Mahuli in disguise. However, the mother of Sayan Nizam, Sajida was caught while fleeing along with the Nizam. Nizam was brought before Shah Jahan and Muhammad Adilsha. Shah Jahan proposed to murder the boy Nizam so as to finish the Nizam Shahi once and for all. But Shahaji intervened and requested Shah Jahan to change his decision. But Adilsha was adamant. After some thinking, Shah Jahan ordered Nizam's release much to the surprise of Adilsha. However, he set a condition that Shahaji would be placed in Deep South so that he could not pose any challenge to Mughals. The Nizam was taken away by Shah Jahan to Delhi and was made a Sardar. <laughs> Army of the Nizam Shahi dynasty of Ahmadnagar Sultanate Hussain Nizam Shah I is known to have been one of the leading figurehead of the Deccan Sultanates during the Battle of Talakota. After his death Chand Bibi repulsed an invasion by the Mughal Empire with the reinforcements of Bijapur Sultanate and Golconda Sultanate. <inaudible> Revenue system of Malik Ambar The revenue system introduced by Malik Ambar was based on the revenue system introduced in northern India and some parts of Gujarat and Khandesh Subhas by Raja Todarmal. Lands were classified as good or bad according to their fertility and he took a number of years to ascertain accurately the average yield of lands. He abolished the revenue farming. At first, revenue was fixed as two-fifths of the actual produce in kind, but later the cultivators were allowed to pay in cash equivalent to approximately one-third of the yield. Although an average rent was fixed for each plot of land but actual collections depended on the conditions of crops and they varied from year to year. <laughs> List of rulers The following is the list of the Nizam Shahi rulers of Ahmadnagar. Ahmad Nizam Shah I 1490-1510 Burhan Nizam Shah I 1510-1553 Hussain Nizam Shah I 1553-1565 Mortaza Nizam Shah I 1565-1588 Hussain Nizam Shah II 1588-1589 Ismail Nizam Shah 1589 1589-1591 Burhan Nizam Shah II 1591-1595 Ibrahim Nizam Shah 1595-1596 Ahmad Nizam Shah II 1596 Bahadur Nizam Shah 1596-1600 Mortaza Nizam Shah II 1600-1610 Burhan Nizam Shah III 1610-1631 Hussain Nizam Shah III 1631 to 1633 Mortaza Nizam Shah III 1633 to 1636 Mughal historians and emperors never referred to them as Nizam Shahs but rather as Nizam ul Mulk since they were not recognized as equals Topic <laughs> <laughs> Lineage
Topic: <laughs> Art and Architecture. Under the reigns of successive rulers of the dynasty, architecture and art flourished in the kingdom. The earliest extant school of painting in the Deccan Sultanates is from Ahmadnagar. Several palaces, such as the Farah Bash Bagh, the Hasht Bihisht Bagh, Lakad Mahal were built, as were tombs, mosques and other buildings. Many forts of the Deccan, such as the Fort of Janur later renamed Shivneri, Paranda, Asa, Daror, Lohagad, etc. were greatly improved under their reign. Dalatabad, which was their secondary capital, was also heavily fortified and constructed in their reign. Literature was heavily patronized in the kingdom, as seen through manuscripts such as the Tarif i Husayn Shah Badshah i Dakin. Sanskrit scholarship was also given a boost under their rule, as demonstrated by the works of Sabaji Pratap and Banudatta. The city of Ahmadnagar, founded by the Nizam Shahs, was described as being comparable to Cairo and Baghdad, within a few years of its construction. It was modeled along the great cities of the Persianate world, given the Shi'i leanings of the dynasty. <laughs> 